guys, welcome. So I realize this might be a little awkward or weird for you guys because usually I do my videos in Dutch. Now don't worry, it's nothing permanent. I will just do this video in English because I'm filming with my dearest friend Amelia from the UK. We'll be talking about our lives in Malaga, what it's like to leave your country, you know, how to make friends as a foreigner. So I think it will be a lot of fun and let's start. Today I'm here with my friend from the UK. Amelia. Hello. Amelia, who are you? Tell them about yourself. Um, so I'm Amelia, I'm 27 and I'm from the UK. I'm from like a really small village but I usually tell people I'm from Brighton because people have heard of Brighton <laughs> where I'm from and I lived in Brighton six years before I came here so it's just easy to see that. We have all these questions here that you guys sent me on Instagram and let's just start with the first one. So how long have you been in Spain? So I have been in Spain for nearly two years now. I mm -hmm. can't even believe it. It's gone so fast, but yeah, nearly two years. And what was the reason you you came to Spain? Was it for love or for work? So yeah, so I came to Spain for love, as you know. Um, that didn't work out, but as you can see, I'm still here. Yes, I'm here and happy, right? Yeah. I'm yes. so happy. So I'm definitely glad that I came. I came for love, but now I'm here mm -hmm. for life. Just like me, like I also, I also came. Well, no, I, I actually came for studies, but I stayed for love. Yeah. And I also like I got the question: Would you, you know, would you be here if it if it weren't for love? Would you? I wouldn't. You because wouldn't. Because I had never been to Spain mm -hmm. before I met my ex. Um, it's I never really thought about living anywhere other than the UK. Really? To be honest. Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, I was very. I wasn't close-minded, but I guess. The opportunity had never presented itself. Uh -huh. So, and then when I, when I did fall in love with someone who was from Andalusia, who was from Spain, I I opened my mind to like. Oh my god! But you're so open-minded and so like adventurous. For, like that's the way I see you. Do you? Yes. Like so, oh, such a free yeah. spirit. Like. I feel like you don't care where to live as long as you're happy. I, I, I think now it's changed uh -huh. because of this. Because before I never thought about leaving the UK, and then I met him, and I was like, oh, maybe I can live yeah. somewhere else other than the UK, and I did it. Oh, but I think this is really interesting to hear for a lot of people because. Like me, for example, I always wanted to live uh, abroad. Like I was always saying, oh, I want to live in Spain or New York or wherever. So I actually expected to end up here. You know, even, even if it if it wouldn't have been for love. Yeah. Um, but I know there's a lot of people that feel insecure and are like, well, I don't know if I can or if it, you know if it's for me. Yeah. But this is like a very good example. <laughs> like, yeah, it can actually it turn out nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I came here without any Spanish or anything. Like, I just thought, okay. Let's do it. Let's see how it is. I don't have anything to lose. I didn't have any commitments back in the UK apart from my job. I mm -hmm. left it. And here I am. Oh my god. Nearly two years later. Yay! <laughs> so, how did we meet? We've probably known each other since I moved to Malaga, so that'd be like a year and a half maybe mm -hmm. now. Um, we met through Sabine. Yes. Your friend Sabine and my friend. Sabine is like a, is my Dutch friend, and we met through Instagram, like to give a short, short summary. Um, Sabine and I worked together, yes. and then I actually all my all the friends I have here in Malaga. Uh, well, I have them thanks to Sabine because I had no one actually. I I met Sabine Thank and me. she just introduced me to this you know huge group of people and it was really nice. And I think we had like a click you know from the beginning. From the beginning, yeah. Also with the other with with Tamara and with Astrid with Kakro everyone. So Very lucky. I am I am so lucky actually. And we have thank you Sabine. Yes, yes, thanks. We've gotten a lot of questions about this subject, like um, was it easy to make friends in a foreign country? Well, personally I don't have very many Spanish friends. Mm -hmm. I think it's very hard, especially here, to if you don't speak Spanish yeah. really well, like you do, like I don't. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to integrate like and like penetrate a friendship group, you know? Yeah. I think that we all bonded because we're all foreign living in the True. same place. I think it's hard to make friends if you don't really put yourself out there, you know, like you I've met people through language exchanges mm -hmm. uh, or through working and exactly, it's yeah. very hard. For me, it's, yeah, I have been like one year without without any friends at all. Like I just had Tony and that was quite hard. Like at the beginning it's all fine because everything's new, but when you, you know, with the time it just turns out to be quite quite sad actually. Yeah. <laughs> and lonely, yeah. It's lonely, yeah. You don't want to be with your partner all the time and stuck to them. Exactly. When I did my Erasmus in, in Cordoba, like my exchange, 
it wasn't hard at all because all the people that I was surrounded with they were on exchange as well so it was just very easy to bond and to make to make friends but I think once you work like in here or I don't know or if you like once you grow up a little bit yeah it's like, harder to, to you know to exactly. to you get into to these friends groups of friends so exactly. many things about it yeah it's actually more easy and the thing is with language exchanges and stuff I feel like a lot of times you, for example, a lot of bars arrange these free language exchanges, mm -hmm. but I feel that's a lot of students that come to this, yeah. and that's like they're in an, in another life phase, different headspace. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. that that's hard to that's match true. as well. So yeah. it's quite difficult, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. <laughs> what are friendships with Spanish like? Like superficial or deep? And we already talked a little bit about this. It's, I wouldn't say superficial, mm -hmm. but. I guess with the language barrier, it's hard to go deep. Of you know, it's hard to really develop a deep connection because there's a you can't communicate the way you really want to communicate, mm -hmm. and that's that's really hard. Ah, what do you work in? Did you tell us already? No. no. Right? So I work in digital marketing. Mm -hmm. So I um, create content for a website. It's a holiday rental website. So I write articles and. Was it hard for you to find a job? No, actually, um, in Granada, yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I started looking outside of Granada and I found Malaga and this was actually the first job I applied for in Malaga. Oh my god. And I thought I really messed it up. And but you did. I got it. Um, yeah, it was it was not hard. I know for some people it's it's harder. I'm very fortunate that I'm native English mm -hmm. because there's a lot of demand for it. Uh, of course, yeah. I'm very, very lucky in that sense. Mm -hmm. I think if you yeah. speak like uh, like multiple uh, languages, it's easier to yeah. to find a job. Yeah. Because I also got the question like, is there really <coughs> a lot of unemployment? I think that yes, there is. I yes. mean, I, I can see it. Like Tony has such a hard time finding a job. I think this is this is like really hard because I think there is a lot of unemployment, mm -hmm. especially down the, down in the south of Spain, but not for us. Yes, which exactly. is really a hard thing. Like, I feel almost bad that I'm taking a job. No, but I mean, they couldn't they take your job. No, my job. I, they don't but have I do feel a bit like it's not very fair. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like the young, the people our age, they mm -hmm. struggle to find work, but foreigners our age, they yeah. don't. And yeah. that's I feel True. like it's a bit. True, yeah, it's been messed up. Yeah. True, yeah. Do you guys feel well treated by the Spanish? Is this a, like a good sentence? Is this correct English? Well, well treated. I, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think in general, everyone's really friendly. It's obvious I'm not from Spain, like the way I look, <laughs> but I don't look Spanish, you know? So straight away, they know that I'm not Spanish. There has been times, maybe at the doctors or something like that, where I felt like with the language barrier, like they kind of like, yeah, like you know, it's it's tired, tired of talking to you as foreign. Exactly, and I'm trying like yeah. with my broken Spanish or Spanglish or whatever mm -hmm. to get across. And mm -hmm. the majority of time, people really try and mm -hmm. they uh, to understand you and whatever. Sometimes I felt people kind of made me feel a bit stupid, like I'm yes. stupid, yeah. and I'm like, okay, I'm not an idiot. Uh -huh. I just don't. Understand. I yes, yeah, I, I feel. Like Everything the same way, yeah. especially at the beginning. I think it's yeah at the beginning more now it's easier. I think it's because. Because I didn't notice like this behavior in, for example, uh, Tony's village. So I think it might be as well because they see a lot of drunk foreigners like partying and just being like their <laughs> annoying <English>. selves. <laughs> well, Dutch as well. Like we can also party. Well. But this is the thing. Like they, I think a lot of times they just think we're stupid and we're not we're in our own holidays. Like they don't exactly. even they don't need to invest time in us because we will be gone anyway. Yeah. And they're, they're not like oh another foreigner doesn't know what they're exactly, doing. Exactly. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But it's like. Yeah, we actually live here and we, mm -hmm. we, we pay to live here. And yeah. Like, but if you go a little bit outside of the center, you, I really notice that people like they take time to talk to you, to yeah. try to understand you. I always felt like uh, welcome here. Yeah. I'm so welcome, for mm -hmm. sure, yeah. Kind of the same. Did you have difficulties getting used to the Spanish culture? You know, I have this conversation a lot because although like we're all European, I feel mm -hmm. there is such a huge yes. difference in the I culture. Know. Like I feel like maybe Dutch and English is more similar than mm -hmm. like Dutch and Spanish or English and Spanish. I, it's definitely very different. And I wouldn't say I think you're definitely more integrated than I am because mm -hmm. you have a Spanish boyfriend, you've been here a long time. I wouldn't say I've adapted adapted. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit, but I'm still kind of British. Of course, yeah. At heart, you know. No, for so, me it was it was like you think it's just Spain, right? And I, I've been to Spain so many times on holidays with my parents and I really thought I knew Spain, but 
it's so different from our culture. I think yeah. it really has to do with like this is a warm country where we come from a cold, cold country, <laughs> and it sounds stupid, but we yeah, had a culture difference. Are, are are huge. They are for me. Eating, yes. Growing out. Exactly. Yeah. Everything. It's it's just so different. I really like it. Like mm -hmm. I actually really love it. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes you know, I just want to go to bed at 11 p.m. This. <laughs> yes. But. If no one does that. This is the hardest part for me. I talked about this in my previous video. That yeah. for me, the hardest part is that people like they come over without without um, telling you uh, like like a uh, warning. Exactly. Yeah. Also, a lot of times I just need to be alone on myself, yeah. and I feel like there's not a single Spanish person that needs to be alone. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm the same. <laughs> and you're like this as well, right? You really yeah, like to I be love alone as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. Like they need to doing something or have someone around them or meet mm -hmm. up with a friend or whatever. Sometimes I will spend a whole Saturday by myself and I love it. And then I come exactly. to see you girls in yes. the evening. I'm the same. <laughs> exactly the same. Yeah. Of course I have a Spanish boyfriend so sometimes I just get a little bit like overwhelmed <laughs> yeah. by the Spanish culture. But yeah. apart from that I think yeah it was quite easy to adapt. Like the for example late dinner perfect, late yeah. lunch perfect. Warm weather, perfect. So yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard, but it's, it's not a hard definitely. culture to adapt to. No. It's not like it's a horrible culture yes, to adapt exactly. to. It's yeah. actually very nice. Yes, yeah. We're very happy. But it's just very different. I think yeah. people like don't realize that it's so different. That it's so different. Why would you recommend anyone from your country to move to Spain? I think coming from someone that never thought that they would live in a foreign country, mm -hmm. I think when you're young <clears> and you don't have any commitments, like just it. Like you can go home anytime. Like I can go home anytime. Exactly. Like, I'm here because I want to be here. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot about myself. I'm really so much more open-minded than I was. It helps to grow up, right? Yeah, like, a different way. Exactly. It's yes. And the language. Go for it. <laughs> Are you being harassed by men more than in your home country? <laughs> I wouldn't say harassed. I didn't know. I, I was like, first I put bothered. Yeah, I didn't know how to describe it. Like I the think best. Um, definitely more attention. I would say uh -huh. I don't know. I think because you know, I'm kind of blonde and mm -hmm. I've got blue eyes and pale skin, I stand out more. Like we stand out more than you know, mm -hmm. girls in Malaga. Mm -hmm. I definitely, yeah, I would say more like cat, cat calls. I think it's called. Like than if I was walking down the street in Brighton. Yeah, I of think course. I just blend in there. Yeah. Whereas here, maybe I don't blend in so much. Especially like when we, I mean, look at you obviously, but like oh, when we all so walk around together, <laughs> it's definitely noticeable, yes. you know? Yes, we were like a group of friends, of, yeah. of foreigners, people just... Yeah, exactly. The other day, I walked out and I passed this restaurant next to my house and there was this huge group of men having dinner but it was like, it was like I think maybe 10 tables, okay, it was a huge group and then one starter just Whoa! And they did, they, they did this wave. <laughs> they did this wave. <laughs> and I was like, at first I was ignoring it as I always do. Yeah. But then I was like, I think this is actually for me. And then I looked, and they were just like, Whoa! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! And this actually, like, I, I'm not bothered by this. I think yeah. it's actually funny, and I feel like, oh, thank yeah. you. you know? This is the thing. Like, I, I, I never feel intimidated. Or no, me too. No, it's just kind of like, oh, and usually I say like, hola or whatever. Because yes. they're not being rude or anything. No, like they're, that. they're not being like. And I say to like, you know, tomorrow and you as well, like, one day you they don't get any attention. They will stop you. Be like, true. oh, yeah. am I? Am I? Who knows? Yes. Like, you know what yes. I mean? So I think like, in a way, okay, mm -hmm. it's not nice, and I don't think you should objectify mm -hmm. women or whatever. But at the same time, if they're not being true, rude, yeah. No, they're really nice. I've never felt unsafe in mother. Yeah. Never. The biggest difference with home, well, I think we already discussed this more or less. What's the biggest difference? How much more relaxed I am. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 to in Brighton. True. I mean, different job, different life, but I'm definitely more mm -hmm. relaxed. There's things I miss from Holland that I really did not expect to miss, yeah. like these yeah. simple things, as for example, uh, riding a bike. You know, like it was so normal for me and here it's not, I don't, not I can't even own a bike because I would have to store it at my apartment yeah. and if not people will, you know, steal it. Yes. <laughs> for sure. And you know, I don't feel like going up five, five pieces, five plumbed up five floors. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I was talking all languages. <laughs> five floors, you know, in the, the elevator with my bicycle, that would be horrible. Okay, let's pick the last question. Describe Malaga in five words. <laughs> Laid back. Sweaty. <laughs> Sweaty, but yeah. 
outside. Like everything's yes. outside. Yes. Everything happens in the street. Mm -hmm. Everything's outside. And everyone, how do you describe it in one word? You will know. Uh, like everyone's always up to to do something. Like very um, active. I'd say that I wouldn't say because they're not that active. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cheerful, I really mean, no, like, uh, full of life, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't no know. No one ever says no to anything. Yeah. Like, Shall we do this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's probably a word that I can't think about. And the last one? I think it's still quite traditional. I think there's still a lot of advocating culture yes. here, and it's very much still like mm -hmm. upheld. Traditional. So, yeah, traditional. yeah, that's a good one. So we've come to an end. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love the questions. That Me too. Good. Well, guys, um, let us know in the comments what you think. Maybe do it in English so, so Milia can read it as well. And if not, just in Dutch is also fine. And don't forget to subscribe and to give a thumbs up. And we'll see each other in the next video. So thank you so much. Muchas gracias y hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs>